we are so happy to be here today, right here in our race car trailer, because it's racing season and people have been desperately waiting on parts from us because it's everybody's out racing. And so we're out here in the trailer today to do this video at the shop. So busy today, we can do a video on there. And I'm just so happy to come out here and tell you about our PBT timing chain set that has now started to ship. This PBT timing set was introduced at Performance Racing Industry Show. We hope to have it in, in somewhere around February, March timeframe. Unfortunately, it's taken years almost to the end of April to get it done, and there's lots of reasons why. But the bottom line is it's shipping today. So what is this VBT timing set? What's it do for you? So if you look at this VBT timing set, this is the complete system as a system as it would be installed in your car. And if you were to buy the complete kit, you get most of what you see or some of what you can't see behind there. And I'll take you through that. But but what 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 did we need to fix this? What was wrong? Well, what was wrong was that in the factory VBT engines, which are the majority of engines that have been produced, the variable valve timing VVT engines come with a cam phaser that changes the position of the cam relative to the crank, which is fantastic. And if you have a relatively low lift, low duration cam, and you want to change its performance and move it around your engine's operating range, this thing offers some pretty big advantages. So for a lot of people, they should leave this in and use it. But when you go to aftermarket cam shafts and more into a racing application, you want to get rid of weight and complexity, make things simple. And quite frankly, with a variable valve timing system, valve to piston clearance becomes an issue because you're moving the valve around and you're pretty close to the piston anyway. So for lots of people, they take this stock phaser cam gear and they go into this, take it apart when they buy it brand new and have to put in a locking kit or a limiter kit to be able to use it. So we wanted to offer something to people that, that wanted to put these in race and swap motors where you didn't need VVT, didn't want VVT, and offer them some other solution than using factory parts. So we offer this system. And this system, of course, the first thing we addressed was that top gear, that cam gear, that in the factory location has the phaser. And what we did was eliminate the phaser, and we built the cam tone ring or the cam sensor ring that the sensor looks at into the gear. So this is actually part of the gear. It's not a riveted on little sheet metal part. It's actually made as part of that gear, and it eliminates this phaser. What does that do for you? No longer have this complexity, no longer have this weight or this cost. And this weighs about four pounds. This weighs half that, or about two pounds, actually less than two pounds. So it's a big improvement in weight on the end of your cam. Is that, is that gonna be really, really detrimental to people? Well, without doing a bunch of engineering studies and measurements and stuff at higher valve train loads, higher valve train lifts, what we know is weight and complexity is bad. So we get rid of half the weight and a ton of the complexity by getting rid of this in this in this timing gear chain set. The other thing we wanted like we wanted to address with our timing set was the ability to put the cam exactly where you want it relative to the crank. And that makes significant differences in power and the power curve in the engine by being able to put the cam where you want. So we wanted to offer a lower sprocket that unlike the factory system, which has one location on it that you can put it in, it has nine locations. It has a straight up location and a minus two, minus four, minus six, minus eight location, and a plus two, plus four, plus six, plus eight for nine different locations to move the cam around relative to the crank. And in performance applications, that's a pretty significant improvement and a pretty big advantage to have that capability in your timing chain system. So we offered that in the lower sprocket. So those are some of the major improvements we've made. And to show you what you get if you buy our system, we offer it several ways. First, we'll start with the full kit. The full kit's available for $549. And how does that compare to a stock system? Well, if you were to buy this stock phaser new, a stock lower gear, stock chain, stock tensioner, all these stock parts, you'd have about, you know, 500, about 500 bucks in it. And then you take it apart, you buy a phaser tool and a phaser lock and a limiter and do some labor and by the time you're done, you got $600 in a brand new timing gear and chain set that has no ability to degree the cam and has this four pounds of stuff stuck on the end cam you don't necessarily want or need. Our system eliminates all that. And for less than the factory system, but retaining several of the really good and strong factory features, but for less money than the factory system, for $549, you can buy this complete system, this VVT timing chain set. And what would you get if you did? Well, open it up. And of course, you're going to get that top sprocket that we've talked about. And that top sprocket, again, is one piece. It's all one piece of metal made from billet. The teeth are hardened. 
and shaped exactly to work with the factory timing chain. Why do we use the factory timing chain? Double roller chains have some advantages, but for the most part, they're not as good as this factory solid chain is. This is a very strong chain and it doesn't stretch under high RPM use, high valve train loads. It's been proven to work very well with this chain. So we wanted to keep that chain. So that chain is part of the system. So this gear and this top sprocket is designed to work with that. <coughs> In addition, you'll get a cam bolt that's designed specifically for this system. It's an ARP bolt and a special washer to retain that. And this ARP bolt is stronger than the factory. The factory specification for a cam bolt, you should torque it at 90 foot pounds. We want you to torque this one at 100 foot pounds, increasing by more than 10% the clamp force you have between the sprocket and the cam. And we're very confident with that clamp load. We've used that at very, very high valve train loads, very, very high valve train speeds and spring pressures. And that one bolt at 100 foot pounds with the one dowel pin that really shouldn't be used to keep the cam from slipping. Uh, you're supposed to keep it tight without it, without it slipping and getting dowel point. That works very, very well in all the applications we used it. So you get the top sprocket, you get the cam gear, uh, sorry, the cam sprocket, you get the cam bolt, which is an ARP bolt, and the special cam washer. In addition to that, oh, ring the bell there. In addition to that, they made a nice move. They didn't know they so in addition to that, we give you something else the factory doesn't offer. In the factory system, the top cam gear rides against a thrust plate. And that just that steel face rides against the steel face. And you can see there's some slots to allow oil to get in there to oil that surface where the cam thrust would be. We wanted to improve that system. And in many racing applications, it's it's really you know preferential if you can if you can make it work to have some kind of a, a thrust bearing in the system. So we've designed this system to give you a thrust bearing, a roller bearing that rides between our cam gear and that thrust plate on the, on the engine. And what does that entail? It entails a washer, a hardened steel, very flat machine washer that you put on, and then the cam thrust bearing. Some people call this a Torrington bearing. It's a roller bearing, well, a thrust bearing, and then another washer put on the other side. And then you bolt this onto your cam. So that takes care of the thrust bearing side and improves it significantly over the factory steel on steel oiled surface. And then moving on, you get the lower sprocket that we talked about. And this is the lower sprocket. Again, it's one piece. The teeth are designed and made and hardened to work with the stock steel chain, the drive tangs to drive the oil pumper on there. But what's very different about this system from this sprocket is that we have those nine keyways to position this in nine different locations to allow you to move the cam relative to the crank in nine different locations versus the stock system, which is one or several other aftermarket systems that were available to offer a few locations. This offers nine. And so that comes as part of the kit. In addition, we give you the stock brand new OEM timing chain. These are sourced directly from the same source, Chrysler Visor from Stellantis. And it's the same timing chain that you're given a, in a new timing chain system, a, a stock one. But we like this chain a lot, and we use that chain. And then we provide a tensioner. This, this part of the system, this tensioner over here that pushes on the chain, take the tension out, it does wear. It has a spring in it, and it, rides, it rides hard against the, against the chain, pushing it against and keeping the tension in it. So we think in many cases, people want to replace this. So we, we offer that as part of our kit. We do not offer the guide as part of the kit. The guide is an optional choice. So whether you think your guide is worn significantly or you're worried about it, you can replace the guide. We don't put the guide as part of this kit because in many cases we found people simply don't replace it. They replace these parts. So that's our full kit. That full kit again is $549. And if you compare it against the stock system with the big heavy phaser and putting a phase lock in it, and putting it together and no, no ability to degree the cam and no thrust bearing, that's actually a more expensive system than this system at $549. But we realize, you know, the full kit isn't for everybody. So we offer several other options that I'll take you through briefly. And those options are, I would say, less than the full kit. So the next option we offer for $349, you get this. And this is just the top sprocket. The top sprocket kit, though, because we've got our thrust bearing in there, you need the thrust bearing that I just took you through. You need the cam gear, which we offer. You need our ARP uh, supplied bolt and our special washer 
to retain it. So this comes as part of the kit that we call the top sprocket kit. The top sprocket kit by itself is $349. But for those who wanna retain their phaser or their locked out phaser, we also offer just the lower sprocket in two different ways. We offer the lower sprocket itself with a phaser tool and with either a lock or a limiter. So if you wanted to keep your phaser in the system and you didn't wanna, you didn't wanna replace this and you wanna to continue to utilize it, we offer just this lower sprocket and we offer the lower sprocket with the phaser tool and with a limiter or a lock, or we offer just the bottom sprocket by itself. And the bottom sprocket by itself is $99. So we go from $99 to $549. And if you buy the bottom sprocket with the phaser tool and the lock or the limiter, that's $129. So I'll take you through it one more time. $549 for the full kit, which is pretty much everything minus the guide. $349 for the top sprocket kit, which is everything you need to put our top sprocket on, eliminate the phaser, have this one piece bill of gear. $129 for the lower sprocket, the phaser tool, a limiter or lock, are just $99 for just this nine position lower gear. So those are our offerings. We are so happy to be doing this now. We, we met a long time ago before PRI, Brian Smith, at Smith Innovation. And we talked about several of the projects us Bay and Hemi Brothers wanted to offer to the Gen 3 Hemi community. This is one Brian and I are both very excited about. Brian worked very hard on this. Smith Innovation worked with the suppliers, worked with us and BES, and we developed this package. This is out running in engines as we speak today. Our 1,650 horsepower engine in the top dragster that just wants sixes at 200. Hopefully it's going to go a little quicker today in St. Louis. And this has that system in it and it's out running. So we're pretty confident this stuff works great. We've worked hard on it, and we're so happy to finally be saying today we are shipping to the first customers. I think we're covering December, January, and into February customers. So we should be getting our next shipment soon and continue to ship. And, you know, in addition to the thank you to the team that stayed with us and didn't give up on this project, you know, starting with Brian Smith, Smith Innovation, the whole team here at Blackbird Performance, the team of BES that's all worked hard to get this thing finally done. I'd like to thank even more importantly, all those customers who got the patience with us to stick with this and wait for us to get this done. We know you're building engines, you desperately need these parts and we are getting them out the door finally. So thank you because you know we're here trying to improve the performance and drop the price and make Gen 3 Hemis what they should be, better than LSs at everything and the same or lower cost. So we're here to make your Gen 3 Hemi power dreams come true, and we hope this helps a lot of people get there. So thank you very much.